Boo. Hey everyone, I'm Madison and this is my channel, Mad Crafty. With Halloween a few days away, I thought what better than to make my absolute favorite Halloween decoration, cheese cloth ghosts. Today we're gonna make mini ones, but you can use the same steps to make it any size you want. I just think the mini ones are really cute. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> you will need... and cut out a piece of parchment or wax paper large enough to fit all the ghosts you're gonna make. Here I have my ghost base. You can use really anything, but if you do care about it, I suggest putting some aluminum foil over it so it doesn't get sticky and gross. I'm just using my craft wire here to make some ghost arms. So I went ahead and kind of just eyeballed how much cheesecloth I would need, but the most important thing is that your cheesecloth hits the table because that's how your ghost stands. So I tried this project using both the heavy starch from the Dollar Tree and the fabric stiffener, and I really prefer the fabric stiffener. So regardless of what you're using, you wanna give this a really good spray. You wanna get it wet, and don't worry if it's not wet enough and you come back and you need it to be stiffer, you can just do another layer and you keep going until it's the kind of hardness that you want. So for this little one here, I'm just gonna do the first layer, add another layer on top, and then again, I'm gonna saturate the whole thing. Because this is two layers, it's gonna need probably a little bit more um, spray, so just be very generous with it. Okay, my ghosts are dry. It's time to take out the base. Sometimes you need to wiggle them a little to get them out. That's totally okay. Pinch your way through, take the wires down, pull them out and get ready for your facial features. So my glue gun is hot and ready and now I'm just giving it some facial features. So with these mini ghosts, you can do a lot with them. Uh, one idea is to maybe make 20 of them and hide them around the house on Halloween and your kids could go find them like a little scavenger hunt or you can make 50 of them and put all the miniature ones across your fireplace. That would look really cool. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and have a happy Halloween. Ow!